Namaste and welcome to Nari Talk, the show that gives you everything you need to overcome your limitations and live your best life. Hi there. Hello. Of late, I've been studying a bunch of programs at Mind Valley University. Uh, it's the personal de- development company started by Vishen Lakhiani. And um, uh, while watching one of his videos, I could instantly relate to a new word that I heard, that a new term that he had coined uh, in his book, The Code of the Extraordinary Mind. This term is called rules uh, or bullshit rules. It's a it's a it's a combination of bullshit and rules. And uh, these bullshit rules are the cultural norms of society that uh, you know are dangerous and that uh, cause limiting beliefs in your mind and uh, that are harming you that might actually be harming you so these these are the rules that maybe need you maybe need to challenge or question in order to uh, live a full life and uh, be happy you know because they they may be making you miserable so as someone who's always been a, a non conformist i found this term especially fitting to describe the rules of society that i discarded um, many years ago for my own mental peace okay to give you the short version i i stopped practicing religion when i was uh, 16 i fell in love with the man outside my community he got married to him he passed away at the age of 37 uh, i left a career in scientific research to follow my passion for writing i married again and i divorced because i don't feel the need to conform to anyone's expectations of me and not needing to conform to society's expectations has given me a lot of freedom and independence to choose my own path in life you know and do what i love with my life and i wish every person in the world felt as free to to follow their heart and intuition and do what is right for them also if you feel yourself burdened by the weight of other people's expectations Here are five of the rules or bullshit rules of society that may be making you miserable or ruining your life. The my first rule is the, the rule of success. Okay, many parents and I'm looking at you, Indian parents in particular, believe that their kids need to be doctors or engineers to be happy. Okay, one of two choices. Now this rule is hurting so many sensitive, creative young people. Uh, who end up committing suicide some of them and or end up miserable in their professions because they bought into their parents unhealthy expectations of them and i've met many engineers who are actually happy in creative fields like event management and wedding planning uh, where they feel free to express their creativity i was really grat- gratified as an uh, as i can imagine many indians were when amir khan in his a uh, three idiots movie showed how it is completely accept- acceptable for someone to leave a prestigious institution such as the IIT uh, to pursue his dream of being a photographer why not you know if it's his passion i would even go so far as to state that you don't need a higher education to be successful because there exist so many examples of wildly successful people who didn't even complete high school like richard branson So please, parents, please, Indian parents, please let your child follow their passions. I mean, may, maybe your child wants to be a musician or an artist or an actor or, heaven forbid, an entrepreneur. Uh, you know, grant them the time and the freedom to experiment, to make mistakes, to find their life purpose. Don't just try to, uh, you know, impose your unfulfilled aspirations on your kids and force them to do what you. wanted to do i mean you were never able to do yourself you know and uh, if you're trying to make them force them to be a, a lawyer or a doctor you should know that uh, these are some of the careers with the highest rates of depression and suicide they're not necessarily the healthiest careers for people anymore the second rule is the rule of the rule of marriage okay the belief that you need to be married to be happy is one of the biggest bullshit rules in my book okay First of all, I don't buy into the rule that marriage is a sacred bond. As a biologist, I know better. Uh, <laughs> early humans had no concept of marriage. Okay, many of them only 
pay, paired up long enough to care for their offspring uh, for a certain number of years, after which they would move on. The love hormone, which is oxytocin, it creates a pair bond that only lasts for about four years or so, uh, which is why we have this concept of a four-year itch or a seven-year itch, okay, in the knowledge that many couples stray after seven years of being married. Because that's when the biochemical fog of the love hormone finally wears off and we see each other as we really are. You know, so, okay, uh, the uh, an article in Scientific American, I'm quoting an article here, uh, The it says the four-year divorce peak among modern humans may represent the remains of an ancestral re reproductive strategy to stay bonded at least long enough to raise a child through infancy and early toddlerhood. So, um, this for me, this puts paid to the notion that humans are actually biologically destined to be to bond for life. So there are. It's not that there aren't humans who do that. I'm just saying that we are not designed to do that. We are not biologically designed to do that. So maybe maybe we should challenge that notion, uh, the notion of marriage, uh, and the fact that you know we, the society forces us to pair bond and say. I do and forever and all that stuff, you know, forever is a long time. Maybe we should have more temporary arrangements. I, I really don't know what uh, what's right for everyone. I mean, that's not for me to say. What's right for you might not be right for someone else. Now, but another objection I have to this bullshit rule of marriage is that back in the days of yore, married women were seen as little more than property. Okay, it's, Marriage is a very patriarchal in institution. Uh, and unfortunately, many marriage contracts today also have the same connotations, many legal uh, issues connected to marriage. For instance, women are required to change their names after marriage, give up their careers sometimes in some families, given their identities in favor of the man. Now, a woman is rarely ever seen as an equal partner in relationships and marriage. It is not in relationships and marriage. It is one of the many reasons I prefer being single. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not against relationships, okay? I love being with my partner of many years. He also happens to be my ex-husband. We're the best of friends. We have a great deal of mutual respect and caring for each other. But I hate being someone's wife. I hate that word wife because that word holds so many negative associations for me. Considering how badly Indian wives are treated by their in-laws, that's not a totally unfounded either. And yes, there are many truly happy marriages today, but they exist because those couples have the emotional intelligence, the relationship skills and the willingness to grow and evolve together as partners. Most of us in our 20s, we do not have the skills to be in a committed relationship. Okay, So this rule about marriage actually imprisons millions of people in unhappy marriages. And many of India, many people in India can't even leave those unhappy marriages. They are forced by society, by parents, by family, to stay together. <coughs> I think marriage should be a choice, not a norm. It should be an option only for those people who are really mature and really feel they can make it work. And it should be easy to leave an unhappy marriage. Kids are not, you know, don't, don't make people wait six months and years and uh, go to court again and again to uh, leave an unhappy marriage. And... So kids, you know, young people don't fall for that rule. This is just a rule that you need to be married to be happy. It's a bullshit rule. Being in a relationship is great, but for women especially, marriage can be counterproductive to happiness. Three, the rule of having kids. Now the same rule applies to the belief that you need to have kids to be happy, okay? Now in my case, I had a child because I always saw myself as a mother and I love being a mom. But not every man or woman likes kids and or wants to be a parent even, you know, and nor should they be forced to do something that goes against their nature and that they are not suited for just because of this bullshit rule. <coughs> Excuse me. That only ends up creating unhappy, traumatized children who are scarred for life by the realization that their parents didn't want them. So if you don't want kids, and this is for all you young people out there, you don't need to have them. Don't give in to your family and peer pressure to reproduce because with 7.3 billion humans on this planet, it's not like you're contributing to the survival of humanity here. The 
fourth rule is the rule of separateness. Another, uh, this this is a big rule. Okay, this is a biggie because it's an illusion. Separateness is an illusion, and the illusion is that we belong to separate religions and countries and cultures and castes, and we have all these divisions of income and class and everything. And that's just a bullshit rule. It serves only those who want to divide us and rule. In truth, we are all part of one consciousness. There is no us or them. And if you're a spiritual person, you would probably understand this. But even religions talk about this. And yes, religions, dogmas, belief systems, cultural constructs, they all have their place. They are all part of the diversity of human experience and human culture. But you need to challenge and question a belief system if it tells you that you are superior uh, to, to the rest of humanity and or or you are inferior, you know, as in the caste system to other human beings on this planet. So you need to challenge that. You need to question that. And that is a bullshit rule. The fifth bullshit rule is the most controversial. Uh, I guess, so I saved it for last. Now, uh, it's the rule of monogamy. Now, m- many of us are aware, are aware that monogamy is not the norm in all human societies, okay? We have heard of polygamy, which is one man ha- having many wives, polyandry, which is one woman having multiple husbands, that as in the case of Draupadi in human uh, in human his, uh, in Indian culture, uh, we, there's been group marriage. There's uh, many other forms of pair bonding. The hippies lived in communes and practiced free free love. And there's nothing right or wrong with any of it. It's all a personal choice, and that's exactly what monogamy is—a personal choice. When we enter into a re- committed relationship. We choose to be monogamous, right? We, But when you turn it into an expectation or a moral judgment on the character of the other person, that's when it ra- results in unhappiness. Most humans are not monogamous by nature. And that's account, that accounts for all the time we spend on marriage counselors' couches and in divorce courts. Okay, but all I can say about this rule is that if you choose to be monogamous, which most people do, and you want to avoid heartbreak, Make sure that your partner and you are both on the same page, okay? Because that is going to lead to to heartbreak if you are not. And in closing, I believe that we should question everything. Don't accept um, all these rules passed down by elders and by society, uh, you know, blindly. Because they may or may not apply to your life. They may be making you miserable. Your life may have a different trajectory. Your life is unique. And you have gifts and uh, talents that only you can share with the world. So refuse to accept another person's view of the world as our own and choose to live your life guided by your intuition because your intuition is your best guide and it will tell you what your deepest um, your values and your uh, and your it, it will give you the best guidance that uh, you require better than listening to parents and listening to culture and listening to peers and one of the most inspiring um, you know um, messages that you can uh, watch uh, about the rules is uh, that is the video by Steve Jobs the here's to the crazy one video which I'm going to link uh, to in the in the in in the uh, field below okay below the video So go ahead and watch that video. It's a really inspiring video. So what rules do you think might be running your life? Share yours in the comments below, okay? And let me know what you think of this video. Be nice, okay? Don't be mean. And um, subscribe to my channel. And uh, click on the bell to get notifications when I post a new video. Thank you.